What's good my pack rats, Pac-Man Case here. I'm coming back at you guys with another collection video and I'm about to drop some knowledge. Did you guys know that Sega made a console after the Sega Genesis but before the Dreamcast? If you didn't, you do now. This is my Sega Saturn collection. Let's do it. Oh boy, my pack rats, I am excited for this video. We are going to go through my Sega Saturn collection. I've got long boxes, I've got custom cases because people threw those long boxes away. I've got my Japanese Saturn stuff, which is awesome to collect for right now. Uh, but before we get into that fantastic consoles library, hit that subscribe button, guys. Help a brother out become part of the Pack Nation here. If you guys want to support the channel, there is a link in the description below. If you guys would ever like to support a shirt, or if you guys want to like have your baby rocking clothes, because there's some baby clothes up in there. Kids t-shirts. I know I'm going to make my daughter wear one. Make yours wear one too. <laughs> uh, so let's jump right in. Sega was on a high note with the Sega Genesis, and unfortunately, their follow-up system just did not have the traction it needed. So this was not a highly uh, sought-after console. Um, it lost traction pretty early in its life cycle. Uh, I was not an early adopter to the Sega Saturn. In fact, I didn't get it into the collection until a few years back. So anytime I come across Sega Saturn games, it's kind of a new experience for me that I absolutely love. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna go through uh, what I have for my long boxes and we'll move on from there. So here we go. First up, and I had to make a custom cover for this because I ended up finding this one uh, with the back cover, which is pretty difficult to find on the Sega Saturn stuff, but this is Resident Evil. The only thing I have in there is just the disc, unfortunately, but uh, man, anybody who is anybody that knows the Resident Evil series knows you gotta have these guys in your collection. So Resident Evil, here we are. Next is NBA Extreme. I also don't have a cover for this one, so I had to make a custom one, and all I did is I just printed it out on paper and made myself a nice little front cover, slide it into the front there, and it does the trick when it's on the shelf. Um, and there we go. Uh, if you guys don't already know, the uh, jewel case long boxes were a piece of crap. They break very easy, they don't stick together, and obviously Sega Saturn manuals are difficult to pair up. So uh, you will find that is a common trend on the Sega Saturn stuff. Uh, anytime I can collect for the Sega Saturn and find uh, games for it, especially in these long boxes, I will pick them up. I'm not a huge fan of them. I actually enjoy my custom cases a little bit better. There you go. Those are the ones I don't have a manual for. Then Robo Pit. This needs to go into the pit of despair because it's not that great. You gotta love yourself some NBA Jam. Oh, MJ. The best of the best. This is a staple in any Sega Saturn collection. This is Virtua Cop. I Virtua love this. One of my more pricier titles, this is Darius Gaiden, where you basically fight a bunch of robot fish. Watch out, robot fish. I'm gonna lure you in. Gonna bust this game right out. Bust a move too. What a weird cover. This guy just has his eyes peeled open with sticks. What's up with that? Uh, oh, I am missing another cover. This is Battle Monsters. If you guys didn't know, I'm into some fighting games and even some weird ones. This one reminds me a lot of Mortal Kombat, just not as good. Added to my long box collection, this is the Battle Arena Toshinden. Uh, if you guys haven't played these games, this is very much Soul Calibur and Tekken style with the 3D uh, environments and uh, models. And then they just fight. That's it. I like fighting games. I think I'm gonna say that 17 times in this video. Then we've got Off-World Interceptor Extreme. I have not played this game in a while, so I don't remember 
if it's terrible, I think it's terrible. It's probably terrible. Resurrection Rise 2. Back in the fighting games, Mr. Pac-Man. You just want to keep adding these to the collection. Uh, it's a bunch of cyborgs just killing each other. What more do you want? A staple in the Sega Saturn. You've got to have yourself some Daytona USA. This game for Arcade Racer, this still holds up. Yes, the polygons are not great, but it doesn't matter. Once you toss this one in, you are not disappointed. This is such a great game. In fact, I have some of these doubled up on my Japanese titles because I love the cover art. And actually my last long box, so as you guys can tell, I don't have a lot of like high-end titles on there because that stuff is just pricey as hell. If you want to get in to the Sega Saturn stuff, make sure that you guys go after the Japanese titles because a lot of them are playable without needing to read subtitles and so on. So there is your tip for the day with the last long box that I have, which is NHL 98. And I only picked this one up because it was I think $2, and $2 for a Sega Saturn game means you pick up okay games. So that wraps up my long box jewel cases, and now I've got some loose discs that I picked up from a friend, got a good deal, but anytime I'm able to get some Saturn stuff that were North American releases, I'm gonna pick them up, box or not. So the first one I have here is a stall. This is actually a great 2D platformer, so if you guys get a chance, get into this one. It is, it is fun. Uh, I did pick this one up. They had a sale at my local retro store, and this is X-Men Children of Adam. If you guys have not played these games, woo, doggy. X-Men, I got a soft spot. Uh, then there is another uh, platformer, Clockwork Knight, which is another staple to have in the collection. This is one I see often in people's collections. Only loose, though, at this time. This one makes me want to scream. That's because it's called Sega Screams. It's like a sample disc, not for resale, which lets you play a bunch of demos. These are cool to find. Pro Pinball, because you gotta have one pinball in your Sega Saturn collection. Watch out for the mist. It'll get ya. And my last loose disc is a bootleg uh, Sega Saturn demo disc. It's what they called it, was bootleg. And those are just cool to be able to go into those demos. I always find it interesting to go into a demo and find out it's a game they never released, but you have the demo for it. That is very, very cool. On to my custom boxes. First one, and also, I gotta say, making these custom cases for Sega Saturn games is sometimes the best way to do it if your games are loose. I ended up getting a huge stack from GameStop. I had some buddies that worked there. I asked them if I could just have a bunch of Wii cases. And then I made myself uh, Sega Saturn uh, artwork from the coverproject.org, which is a great resource if you guys would like to print covers for your games. And you can make custom ones for the Sega Saturn. It's show wheat. So, first one that's obviously in my hand, Baku Baku, very cool puzzler. Uh, you guys will enjoy this one. I think it is a fun and very interesting game. Uh, after you connect things in the puzzle, your animals will like eat certain pieces of the puzzle to move you on to the next platform and so on. I probably described that really bad, but you will enjoy it, I promise. <laughs> These next ones really bug me. That was a joke because it says bug and you guys get it. These are platformers, you might enjoy them. Bug and Bug 2. Dark Legend. It's a game about a dark legend. It's a fighting game. Anytime you can pick a fighting game up, Pac-Man Case is gonna get it. This next one's the sequel to Clockwork Night. This is Clockwork Night 2. That's really hard to say. Clockwork Night. Clockwork Night. Clockwork Night. Clockwork Night. Clockwork Night. Clockwork Night. You guys ever say a word enough that you forget what its meaning is? I That just happened to me. Next, Fighting Vipers. This is another fighting game. This is a 3D platformer, and they also uh, jumped on a collaboration with Virtua Fighter, and then we'll get that in the later in the list, but uh, Fighting Vipers, another interesting game on the Saturn. 
So there are some fantastic shooters on the Sega Saturn, and unfortunately, there's some I still need in the damn collection, but for right now, I've got a couple awesome ones. We already saw Darius Gaiden. This next one is Galactic Attack, and that is a killer shooter. So if you guys would, if you guys love shooters, I highly suggest getting into the Sega Saturn, jumping into its library. You will not be disappointed with the amount of gems that are on this console. What the gex? supposed to be a play on what the hex and my delivery failed. What an amazing, amazing game. This is a side-scrolling RPG, uh, but it is called Guardian Heroes. And if you are going to have a game for your Saturn that you're going to throw big bucks down on, Guardian Heroes, I suggest, is one of them. What a fantastic uh, action beat-em-up slash RPG. And you're able to traverse three different uh, depths in the level and have your character jump back and forth. It's such unique gameplay. So uh, I'm glad that this is my guardian hero because this is close to like guardian angel. But when I say stuff, it comes out of my mouth and not through my brain. You can be my hero, baby. Guardian hero coming to a Sega Saturn near you if it was 1995. Uh, Legend of Oasis, what an interesting top-down mechanic. Uh, it feels like an Oasis, but it doesn't because you're fighting a bunch of bad guys. What type of Oasis is that? Arguably the best NBA Jam on the system. This is NBA Jam Tournament Edition, a great one to have in the library, um, which I might have showed the long box for it already, but now I'm thinking this isn't the same one, but if it is, I gotta go back in my video and edit it. But now you've already seen it. What shall I do? Just let him see two of them. He's heating up. Panzer Dragoon 2. These games are fantastic. This was the original home console of Panzer Dragoon. Uh, great, great games. Very interesting gameplay. Kind of like a rail shooter. If you guys get a chance to jump on Panzer Dragoon 1 or 2, you will absolutely enjoy it. So uh, get after this sucker. You should Shinobi be playing this. That's a terrible, terrible play on the word should. Didn't work. Shinobi, put it in your console today. Skeleton Warriors. If you guys remember this one, then you're better than me because for some reason I didn't know this existed. Already talked about this bad boy. Here is Street Fighter the movie. If you're gonna play this game, make sure you watch the movie first, then come back and enjoy both the terrible game and movie combination together. Street Fighter Alpha. I have gushed about this enough, but you guys understand I love these games. Let's get dirty. This is Three Dirty Dwarves. They're dirty. And this game is absolutely phenomenal. This is a game you need to have in your collection. Hear my words, friends. Three Dirty Dwarves is where it's at. These guys don't mind playing dirty. They live for it. Somehow there always has to be a Tomb Raider in every collection. I think they sneak into most people's collection. What's up, Laura? Gotta have a traditional racing game on there. This is Virtua Racing. And if you guys know anything about the Saturn, a lot of things were Virtua. A lot. One of my favorites. This is WrestleMania, the arcade game. This is awesome. They do fantastic moves. I just played on one of my live streams, WWE All-Stars, and it reminds me a lot of this game. This is obviously different. In the 32-bit era, we had uh, sprites of the characters, uh, 2D, but fantastic animation. They came out with crazy special moves, and this is a blast to play. Uh, funny story, they don't actually have a case on coverproject.org for this one. Somebody made it custom, and I kind of like it. We finally hit 2020, guys. Baseball games officially look just like they did in 1995 with the cardboard fans. Actually, I think these look better, maybe. I am so glad I jumped on the Sega Saturn when I did because I started jumping into the Japanese library for a couple different reasons. Number one, they are not as expensive as the North American releases. There's additional things that normally come in the Sega Saturn Japanese cases, and I love their artwork, so I feel like it's a win. One very cool thing about a Sega Saturn is you can play the import games if you get yourself one of these. 
This is an action replay. You can purchase it. I think I got mine on Amazon. This allows you to play any of your Japanese Sega Saturn titles. And it is such a smart thing to get because this gets you into the library of Japanese Sega Saturn games and there are reasons you wanna pick these guys up. If you guys still wanna to try to get into Sega Saturn games, now is still a good time to jump on those Japanese Sega Saturn titles and get yourself some sweet deals. So, let's go over what I have in the Japanese Sega Saturn collection. So the first one on the list of my Japanese Sega Saturn titles is The Last Bronx. This one also is the same formula as uh, Fighting Vipers. The gameplay is very, very similar, but there is some very unique fighting games on the Saturn, and especially ones that I was able to get from the Japanese side that I uh, find very, very interesting and very cool to collect for. So, The Last Bronx. Biohazard. If you guys didn't know, Biohazard is actually Resident Evil. They call it Biohazard in Japan. I have fond memories of playing this with my host family. This is the first time I ever saw this and I just have a lot of cool fond memories of this game. I added it to the collection. I talked about this already on the channel guys in my Street Fighter collection, but I have Street Fighter Zero and Street Fighter Zero 2, which are the Street Fighter Alpha series. Woo, so good, so good. I can't wait to get my hands on Saturn Bomberman where you can play up to eight players. It will come one day, but for right now, I gotta settle for Saturn Bomberman Fight, which still gives you four players available uh, to hash it out, but a fun, fun game for the Saturn. I've got a puzzle for you. It's just Tetris, but I gotta have one on the Saturn. So if you guys are familiar with the Knights game that came out on Sega Saturn, uh, in Japan they had a Knights Christmas special. So this actually has a uh, Christmas theme to it and you're playing in the same kind of Knights environment. So an interesting one to have in the collection. So shout out to John Riggs. Uh, he has suggested a lot of cool wrestling games for the Japanese Sega Saturn. I myself am a old school wrestling fan. I absolutely love jumping on this stuff and some of the coolest games. So this one is Blazing Tornado, uh, a fun wrestling title. I talked about my host family in Japan and we still communicate all the time. She went and started finding games, Sega Saturn games, that I have on a list that I'm kind of looking for and they're cheaper to get over there and she'll ship me them over. So I'm super thankful. So, uh, Miho, thank you so much for those games. Uh, the first one she picked up was Mobile Suit Gundam. This is kind of a cool one as it opens up and has the instruction booklet like attached to this really cool kind of collector's case. So a cool one to have in the collection. Uh, I kept this one in here. It is an RPG. This is called uh, Rig Lord Saga 2. I, uh, I, will never, I will never play it because I can't understand it. This is one of the few where you need to know how to read Japanese and that's just, you know, not me. I know a little Japanese. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Uh, you gotta have the OG Panzer Dragoon. I picked it up. It's hell of expensive for the North American release, but the Japanese Sega Saturn is not too bad. I think I got this guy for $40, if I'm not mistaken, and I thought that that was a good time to jump in. Make sure that I have the original Panzer Dragoon on the Saturn. Here is the original Knights. This is another one that Miho picked me up in Japan, sent it my way. Uh, you gotta have Knights. If you're gonna have Sega Saturn, this was one of their mascots of the system um, and fantastic games for Knights. Some more unique fighters on the system. This one is Outlaws of the Lost Dynasty. Uh, I have played it only a tad, but again, I love to jump into this stuff. I have such a blast with these fighting games. So. Uh, like I said, fighters, shooters, there's some really, really great options on the Saturn. So another unique one on the system, this is Ragnagard, uh, another very, very interesting fighting game. This one has some very, very cool character models in it. Like I said, there are some fun gems to be had on the Sega Saturn, so check it out. There's some unique stuff about purchasing the Japanese Sega Saturn titles. Uh, they actually had some right issues with the music. And so if you want to play the arcade in the way that it was intended, sometimes the Saturn titles have that where the uh, United States versions for the North American releases do not. Um, so this is an example of why I picked up Daytona USA on the Japanese Saturn. 
All right, friends, another example of a North American release that is really expensive. So Die Hard Arcade goes for right around $100 to $130. You can get the Japanese counterpart called Dynamite Deca for right around $50. So if you guys are looking, again, to save to get into that game library, go after these Japanese Sega Saturn titles. It will be worth your time, and you get to play some great games without breaking the bank too much. I also had the same concept with jumping into the Sonic games. Those are rising up in cost on the North American releases. So you have Sonic Jam and Sonic R, which was a uh, racing game that they had on the Sega Saturn with Sonic and his friends. So again, guys, you wanna find this stuff cheap, baby? Get some Japanese titles. You will love it. You will love it. I think I've sold you. Just buy a Japanese Sega Saturn at this time. Forget about it, just enjoy the library. Uh, like I said guys, the fighting games were phenomenal as ports from the arcade versions onto the Sega Saturn, um, which is why I have picked up the Darkstalkers games, which are actually called Vampire Savior and uh, Vampire Hunter. So this one is Vampire Savior. This is with all the Darkstalkers characters and then Vampire Hunter. Uh, again, great, great way to get these uh, for a lot less. Uh, then, like I said, lots of Virtua stuff. This is Virtua Fighter. This was the pack-in title, which is why it looks a little bit different, but most of these came, I think, with a Sega Saturn. I don't remember what model or how that worked, but I do know that these were a pack-in title. Uh, then Virtua Fighter 2, you gotta have the sequel. Uh, these were really, really innovative at the time that they came out, and I really believe that Virtua Fighter kind of paved the way for a lot of cool 3D fighters, just like Tekken did. Um, so if you're a fan of fighters, get into the Virtua Fighter stuff. Then you have Fighters Mega Mix. This actually took people from fighting Vipers and threw them into uh, the mix. So you've got your Mega Mix. Makes sense to me. Another one is the Virtua Fighter Remix. I have not actually played this one. I don't know what the difference is, but I have it. And then my last Japanese Sega Saturn title is one that should be in the collection, and this is Virtua Cop 2. These ones are light gun shooter games for Virtua Cop and Virtua Cop 2. Um, again, I love the versions of the Japanese titles, and this was another one that I must add to the collection. I do have a light gun. I can't find it anywhere, so I'll have to figure that part out and show you guys another time. Uh, I've got one last Sega Saturn thing before I go. Guys, this guy has seen better days, but when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I've already talked about how much I love fighting games, and I could not pass this one up. This is the arcade stick for the Sega Saturn, um, and it actually plays pretty dang well. I've really enjoyed using this on there. Um, I love the fight pads on the Sega Saturn, but when it comes to the joystick, it is the way to play fighting games, and it's something that I am actually getting better at. I normally was just a controller guy, but now I gotta joystick it up. So that is the only additional thing I have for my Sega Saturn. Aside from that, it is a smaller collection compared to the other things that I have, but still some quality titles in there. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for sticking around for my Sega Saturn collection. Uh, this has been a console that I continue to dive into, continue to find new things in the library. I would absolutely love uh, Radiant Silver Gun. If I ever get my hands on that, that game, even Japanese, goes for about $200 to $300. So I have to find it one day. Uh, if you guys like what I got going on, you like my content, Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Uh, make sure you keep coming back here. I get videos or streams going weekly for you guys, so it means a lot to have you come join the fun and chat it up. I will catch you guys on the next video. Be careful out there, my pack rats. I will miss you. Later.